Robert, how surprising is the current landscape for UK government borrowing? Are we in territory that market participants have never imagined before? The clear answer to that is yes, we are. Of course we are. Um, I don't think any of us just a few months ago could have foreseen what challenges we would be having in terms of the financing requirement, the market environment, the working environment, all of this is clearly without any precedent, not just here in the UK, but globally as well. Uh, and uh, to suggest in any way that this is not surprising would be completely wrong. At the same time, I would also say that uh, it is perhaps equally reassuring that the gilt market and the wider financial system has been able to operate as efficiently, as smoothly, as effectively as it has. I think that in itself is, yes, it's a surprise, but it's also a sign of how much more developed, mature the market has become, how much more liquid the market is today than it was 10 or 20 years ago. Uh, so, you know, I, I think really a gilt market that can operate like this is not one that most gilt market participants would have envisaged um, a few years ago, let alone 25 years ago or so. Thank you. The possibility of the Bank of England pushing rates into negative territory has been mooted. How would this affect uh, demand for gilts and your strategy in bringing them to market? Is there a risk that additional gilt issuance will crowd out private sector issuers looking to access capital markets? I don't think that our strategy um, will change because of the rate environment. It's important to recognize that as the government's borrowing agency, our role is to raise the necessary funding for government in whatever market environment and also whatever yield environment happens to prevail. Obviously, if there are negative yields, that is clearly something of note and something on which many people will comment because it's so unusual. But we have to borrow in all rate environments, including low rate environments and much higher rate environments. We've done that in the past and we will continue to do that. Ultimately, we pay the market price. In answer to your other question around the crowding out, I personally feel quite firmly that this has not happened in the past, it is not happening now and is unlikely to happen in the future. One thing that it's important not to underestimate is the extent to which bond markets enjoy what I would describe as a form of elasticity. They are capable of absorbing much more issuance if required, as long as the liquidity is present. Um, and also at times of low issuance, absorbing that without, or dealing with that without any interruption. Uh, I don't believe that gilts as the benchmark in sterling uh, represent any kind of competition in the true sense to other parts of the market. They complement other parts of the market as indeed, for instance, corporate issues does. And liquidity is key and liquidity is present for us, but also for other issuers who may need to use the sterling markets for funding. 